Okay, so we have to find the derivative of the natural log of x to the fourth plus one, and it's being squared here. So the squared is on the argument, it's on the x to the fourth plus one piece. So the derivative of the natural log of x is just one over x. So here it's the natural log of all of this stuff. So if we just jump into it and take the derivative right away, it would be one over all of this times the derivative of all of this. And that's a bit messy. So what we can do maybe is we can use what's called the power rule for logs, which says whenever we have a number here, we can bring it down and put it in the front. So let's do that. f of x is equal to 2 times the natural log of x to the fourth plus 1. All right, so now we're ready to take the derivative. So f prime of x, this is equal to, so the two will hang out. So we have two times the derivative of the natural log of x. So in this case, it's the natural log of this. So it's one over that. So x to the fourth plus one times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of x to the fourth using the power rule will just be 4x cubed. And the derivative of 1 is 0, so I won't bother to write it. Uh, the last thing to do is maybe multiply these numbers, the 2 and the 4. So this is equal to 8x cubed, and it's all the, being divided by x to the 4 plus 1. And that would be the final answer. Again, you start off the problem by realizing that you know having this 2 here is a problem because it makes the derivative of the inside more complicated. So you, you bring it down, you put it in the front. Then when you take the derivative, it's just 1 over whatever's here. So that's right here. And then times the derivative of the inside, which is just the chain rule. And we use the power rule to differentiate x to the fourth. And the derivative of 1 is 0. And then you just multiply these times the 1. And that goes up top. And there's the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.